thing's for certain. UPS is a formidable opponent, but we can't lose. We have 340,000 teams this nationwide that are ready to fight, that are ready to take on this company. Right. A company who have made $100 billion right. off the sweat on your back. Everybody else is getting rewarded. Stockholders, CEOs, upper management, people that never ever touched a package in their life. Yeah. Now it's time to pay the people that make them a success. I've read right. travel in the last two weeks, doing all kinds of media, getting the public on our side, which is important. And I think you've seen there is tremendous support, not only throughout all the unions, but also in the communities where we live, where you deliver, and where you live, right? right. So here's the reality of what's going to happen. UPS has 13 days to come to their senses. They're going around telling everybody the Teams has refused to meet. Another lie. They suffer from liabilities, right? Mm -hmm. And the reality is, we want to get back to the table. We want to get you the best contract that you have. And everybody keeps saying, why do you want to strike UPS? I said, UPS is going to choose to strike themselves. Yep. They don't right. reward the people. They keep, they're beholden to Wall Street. We live on Main Street. That's, right. That's where we live. That's, That's right. where we're from. That's right. And we're not ashamed to say it. They should reward the people on Main Street who make them the success that they are. Now listen, negotiations, we've got a lot of stuff accomplished. We've got a lot of changes for part-timers. We've got a lot of changes for full-timers. We are 95% there. But when it came down to the money, UPS didn't want to reward the part-timers. Didn't want to reward the full-timers. Didn't want to create full-time jobs. And then they chose to walk out because they said they had no more to give. Well, I'll tell you what, we're gonna give them something 13 days if they don't come back to the table and give us not what we deserve, but what we've, what we've earned. And no one, no one is going to take us on. We've got support from the Pilots Association. Woo! UPS Pilots yeah! Association said they will not turn a wheel. Yeah! That means no, nothing will be moved by plane. We've yeah. got support from all other unions, community yeah. groups. This is a fight that is necessary. This is a fight that's not only going to define the Teamsters Union, but the entire labor movement. Yeah. We yeah. are going to put the Teamsters back on the map as the biggest, fastest, strongest union ever. Now, the White House, the White House is getting questioned. Are you going to get involved in the Teamsters strike with UPS? And we've been very clear in our messaging. The neighborhood I grew up in, which I'm sure many neighborhoods like you all grew up in, there's always conflict, there's controversy. If two people are having a disagreement and you have nothing to do with it, you keep walking. That's the message we're sending to the White House as well. No one is going to stop us. If they try and stop us, we don't ask for permission. We may ask for forgiveness at some point in time. But we are going to take this fight to the street, if necessary, and get you the best contract ever. I want to thank, I want to thank Randy Kamak. I want to thank Chris Griswold, Victor Mineros, Lindsey Doherty. But more importantly, I want to thank every single person that goes to work every day, that gives us the courage and conviction, the inspiration to get you what you deserve. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Crane.